Hello, today I'm going to show you how to download our data feed software for OPC and OPC UA connectivity and set it up in trial mode so you can verify that it works for your application. First, you want to just type in softing and data feed into your search engine. Should be the first one that pops up. And once you're on that website, you can see an overview of what the software is. Um, but to jump straight into the download, you'll scroll down. Under downloads, you'll want to click on version 5. And it'll prompt you to register or log in if you haven't registered. So I've obviously registered. If you have not, you'd need to click that and fill it out. Then, then you'll accept our terms and agreements. And then your download should begin. Once it's downloaded, you can go to your downloads folder on your PC. You can double click the executable. You want to extract all and it put it up on this side. So I'll drag it back over. I'm going to extract it to its default location. And now I'll run this executable by double clicking on it. It should prompt you to allow this app to cha make changes to your PC. I click yes. It's gonna ask you what, what language you want. By default, it's English, so I hit okay. It's saying now that it's done loading, um, you just want to click next to complete it. Agree to the terms. Next, and then hit install. It says installation wizard completed. It is installing the BNR software for the driver for it. You can see it notes that here. When I hit finish, it's gonna open up the softing license manager. So here's the license manager. You can see on this PC, I don't have any licenses. So it verifies that we're gonna show this in the trial, the free trial mode. Um, so you don't really need to worry about this unless you were to get a license and you were going to apply it. This is where you do that. So now that it's installed, you can go to your search bar, type in data. You should see data feed OPC suite configurator. If you click on that, it'll load it. It's prompting me to, if I want to allow that application to run, I hit yes. So now that it's open, I'll kind of give you an overview. So data sources are things that the data feed suite can take data from. Data processing is if you were to manipulate that data, say you wanted to uh, um, swap data between two data sources like a Rockwell PLC and a Siemens PLC, you would do that here under data processing. Data destination, this is where you say you want to send data to. So this would be I'm um, reading data from a Rockwell PLC and I want to make it available via OPC UA. So the data feed suite itself will act as a OPC UA server. You can see there's a lot of options there. It can act as a classic OPC server as well. And uh, it can send data to an MQTT broker, a database, files, all, ki all kinds of things. Under settings, 
we'll come back and look at this. But you can go to licenses and depending on your configuration, you can check box this and it'll tell you what part numbers you need to order. So mine's already got some stuff configured in it and that's why it's showing up here. Okay, so for us to connect to a Rockwell PLC, we'll go to a data source and we're gonna connect to this Rockwell PLC. We're gonna gather the tags from it and make those available via OPC UA. And then we'll use our softing OPC UA demo client to connect into the server and see those tags. So to connect to the Rockwell PLC, you'll go to data source. You'll scroll to Rockwell. You can see I already have this one configured, but let's delete this so we can do it from the beginning. Okay, so to add a Rockwell PLC, you click on add new data source. It'll allow you to name it, that data source, whatever you want. This is how it's gonna show up in the OPC UA configuration. You need to also select which controller you're connecting to, if it's Compact Logics, Control Logics, or the older Slicks or PLC fives. Once you've done that, you can hit next. On the destination IP address, just in my case, I'm connecting to a Control Logics module. So I'm going to put in the IP address of my bridge card for that control logics module. I can hit next. You can hit browse CLX device at startup. So that's when data feed starts up. I'm going to leave it at the defaults. There's also other settings in here that you can modify, but I'm going to leave it as default. You can hit connection test and you can see we are successful. There is a controller at that IP address. And then I can hit next again. So we can see here's our PLC. If I come down here and hit refresh data items, it's going to say, hey, this may be time consuming because it's going to query the PLC for all those tags. So I hit yes. So there's all my tags, it's done. You can see we support UDTs and arrays. I hit finish. So we've configured our data source where we're gonna get data from. Now we wanna configure our data destination. We wanna send that to an OPC UA client. So if I click on data destination, scroll up the OPC UA client, you'd need to make sure this check mark is there. This is the endpoint, so your OPC UA endpoint that we're going to input into the, the client to connect to this server. You can configure different types of security um, and encryption as well. I'm going to leave it blank um, to keep it as simple as possible. So that's done since so, uh, check marks there. I don't really have to do anything else unless I wanted to modify the security settings uh, or the authentication. So once you've selected activate OPC UA server endpoint, and if you're not changing any of the default settings, you should be good to go. So you need to come to your configuration, you need to save it. And then once it's saved, you can go to local application and hit start. So now you can see it's starting, it is running. Since I don't have a license in that license manager that we looked at, you can see it does say that it's running in demo mode. If we wanted to verify that this is working and doing what we want, you could download our softing OPC UA demo client. So I've already done that. I click to open it up. So once it's open, you can come over here to double click to add a session. I do that and you can see it's asking for that endpoint URL or you can browse your network. So I can probably see mine here locally, I can. Um, 
but what we'll do is we'll actually come back to our data feed, copy that endpoint out directly, and paste it in. I can hit validate connection, and you can see I get a green check mark telling me we have a valid connection. I hit OK. And then we can go, and you can see here's the Rockwell 1 source, as well as some other ones that I have in here. But if we browse it, you can see here's my controller and program tags. These ones with the folder are UDTs. Um, so that's it for connecting to a Rockwell PLC and then making that data available via OPC UA. If you actually wanted to see, for example, what a value is, if you double click on a tag, you can see it shows the value that's there. You could actually once you've double clicked those, you can see it's added it to my subscription. So if I come to data access, you can see they're now populating and you can get a live view of that as well.